Hi everyone, it's Ashley today and uh, I just got an order with some new lines by the companies that are under the American Crafts umbrella, so I thought I would show you some new and fun stuff. So first up is The Pier by Create Paper. Um, this one's really pretty, it's called Ferris Wheel, it has these awesome blue flowers on a green striped background and the back side is a kind of distressed yellow and red chevron. And then Heat Wave is a nice weathered wood pattern. And the other side has this cool hexagon quilt pattern. Then Popcorn is this lovely buttery yellow with big white polka dots on it. And there's a little tiny bit of detail with some light blue ledger and a little bit of sort of zigzag detail in the top corner to add a little bit of interest. And the back side is this kind of cool big white doily on the same buttery yellow pattern. So that's a nice piece of paper. This one's called Sunscreen. It has these really neat sort of flying chevrons and some of them are bi-colored. And then again there's a little bit of distressing in the background with um, kind of looks like stamped ledger. And it's pretty, it's pretty neat. It has a nice subtle effect to the background. And then this side is a multicolored stripe and it looks like it has old cellophane tape on the bottom and top corners. This is a motif that's repeated in some of the line. And then this one's called Frozen Trees and this looks nothing like the online images look like. Online it looks like nice bright candy store popsicles on a white background. This is printed on craft. I bought it for this side because I thought this was going to be a kind of spilled watercolor on a white ledger, but instead it's craft. So I'm a little disappointed that the online images for the for this piece of paper and a few of the next ones aren't accurate. This one's called Shoreline, and um, the front side looked like a green on white pattern. It almost looks like little jacks in this interwoven pattern with some diamonds and circles on it. And again, it looked like a kind of nice somewhere between like a mint and emerald green pattern on white and it's not, it's printed on craft and the back is this kind of dingy red color which is a really cool pattern but just not what I expected. It has a little airplane down here, it looks like there's some watercolor dry, there's a little bit of almost like wood grain pattern up here and some neat text stuff kind of showing through so it's a really cool pattern, it's just not white, printed on white like I expected. And again this one looked like green polka dots on white. There's a little subtle pattern in the background with some lines that kind of resemble almost like a loose wood grain and there's a little bit of variation in the green print. The center is lighter than the outsides. And the back I really loved and online it looked like sort of this color, this light craft or tan color but with white stripes and it is not. It's craft and this darker tan so this is again not what I expected. This piece of paper though it is called check the other side Sunshine is lovely I love it it's beautiful it looks like a nice watercolor kind of effect and again it has some neat distressing a little bit of almost like coffee stain along some of the edges a little tiny bit of faint ledger printed on it and then the back side is a uh, light craft but this time with the white so this is really accurate I ordered two pieces of this because I thought that I would really like it and I do okay so I didn't order the whole line of embellishments um, I started with the clothes pins I was really excited when I saw these um, being when the line was first revealed because the clothes pins are actually printed with gold foil so there's a polka dot a chevron two that say summer when this is happy day a diagonal stripe, two, no, a solid gold, and another chevron, an arrow, a stripe. This one says hello you, and another small polka dot. So these are, these are quite nice, and they're actually only printed on one side. Some of them are printed on two sides, but that's okay because sometimes I want the size paper clip or close pin, but the sentiment's not right, so I use the back side. And if they're printed, it's kind of harder to um, alter them. I'm going to put the border, the accent sticker sheet. This has some of the cellophane, aged cellophane tape distressing on it that we saw in a little bit of the paper. Um, so if you don't like that, you could just use a portion of the sticker or just don't buy the sheet at all. 
I think it's kind of cool, but I can see it could be a individual taste choice. Oops. Okay, and then the slide frames. I was really excited about these when I saw the online image. And I have to say they're even awesomer in person. So there's 27 in the package, and they're really nice chipboard weight, unfinished on the back, and a slightly, I don't know, really nice finish on the front. And there's different sizes, so I'll just sort of flip through them quickly so you can get an idea. Some of them say things, that one says transparency, fine view, codec, fine view, date processed, rotochrome transparency, processed by codec, fine view. You can see the, some of the pattern that was on one of the patterns, um, pieces of pattern paper. There's small ones. That's the same, there's doubles of some of them. I don't think all of them since there's an uneven number. But these are really great. They have a sort of nostalgic summary kind of feel to them. And I think they're going to be a lot of fun for layering. You can put them around a photo, you can use them to frame embellishments on a page. They're pretty nice. And I like that the words, sentiments, the, and colors are sort of subtle enough that I feel like they're going to be very versatile. They're not just a summer themed, outdoorsy um, product. They're going to be good on a lot of pages. Okay. And then I bought the letter embellishments that came with this line. Um, these are acetate letters. I took a few of them out of the package. So you can see, and they are sans serif font, very nice font. And again, they have this awesome vintage quality. They look like they should have been put up on like an old signboard or something like that. There's 58 letters in the package, so enough to do a good couple of titles. And they're this kind of neat orangey red color. So they are kind of fun and neat. It's always nice to find a different type of letter. Okay, and the last thing from the Pier by Crate Paper is the Ephemera Pack. So there's 48 pieces in here. I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm going to open it up now to take a look at it. Looks like there's quite a few gold sequins in there that are, of course, static clung to the package. It's a neat little sewn banner with a gold vellum, or not gold vellum, gold foil polka dot, so that one too, cotton candy, oh a gold foil label, that is awesome, the number six, the seven, more labels, more numbers, a little slide, a little three cent label, lots more labels, oh gold foil label, awesome, a you and me sentiment labels, Little numbers. This one's a splash and gold foil. Little ticket. Another price tag. Another label. Little heart and frame. Fun in the sunshine. Number five. A little layered printed doily kind of banner piece. Oh, another little heart and frame. This one's neat. It kind of looks like a little bit of watercolor spilled on it. Another frame, like a deli ticket. <laughs> Gold foil, it says you are. A little ticket, another ticket. Wood green, hard end frame. Those look really nice together. There's a couple of those gold sequins. Pool plus sun equals fun. Nice tag. Nice red bathing suit and blue bathing suit. A little, I don't know what that is. Foilies. The sweetest, I guess you could say you are the sweetest. Oh, some nice little doilies. Those are kind of cool. I've never seen things exactly like that before. Another one of these little pieces of paper. Another little ticket. And this might be the funnest thing in the whole entire package. A whole bunch of nested frames that are gold foil printed. So you got a little tiny one. A nice gold foil sort of um, slide frame, and then a 
pink and gold foil frame, which is pretty awesome. And then wait, there's more. A little one. That would be nice just to stick a little embellishment on top of, put it beside something. And then this would even come apart. You could even use these two pieces separately if you wanted. And another little slide frame. So there is all sorts of awesome stuff from Crate Paper's new summer line called The Pier. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!